Uh, I'd like to make a comment about the more general thing about this question of uh, what, what was the phrase that was used for the naive view of reality? Manifest image. Yeah, the, whether that is something that uh, makes sense and uh, is permissible to us. It seems to me it obviously is in our everyday life. I mean, we all agree uh, Mitt Romney and Barack Obama are real and the Santa Claus is not real. We use it as a useful phrase, and it would be hard to live without this, this meaning of reality. And, uh, sin and, you know, it isn't because we uh, deny that Santa, well, maybe it's because we deny that Santa Claus is composed of elementary particles, but uh, that's not the way we really think about it. We, we just recognize it as a myth. Uh, I think an, the question is, why should we not use this kind of principled philistinism uh, refusing to think deeply, but just using real the way we use other terms in our everyday life. Why we shouldn't do that in, in physics or science also? I mean, is there really a uh, philosophical discontinuity between everyday life, the kind of reasoning we do in everyday life, and science, which makes... Um, this, uh, this naive view of reality impermissible in one, whereas it's useful in the other. Free will is a classic example of where we have a feeling of agency on the manifest level, but in reality we don't. I mean, if you're in incompatible. <laughs> <Well>, okay, <laughs> you're, again, yeah. you're again going beyond the... Uh, uh, I mean, we can argue about that. I, uh, I, I think we do. Uh, I think free will is real, uh, but that's for another session, uh, but everyone in this room has used the word real in an unreflecting, unphilosophical, unsophisticated way, and um, I don't see any reason for barring its use in the sciences also. I mean, we, I had a professor at Cornell when I took a philosophy course, Max Black, <laughs> who uh, uh, said that whenever he is asked the question whether something is real, he always gives the same answer. The answer is yes. <laughs> but, uh, it, it, but real in different ways. And that is something one can go into. I think temperature is real. I think protons are real. They're real in slightly different ways. I think uh, the Constitution of the United States is real. And I think this newspaper is real. And they're also real in different ways. And it's interesting to explore that, but we shouldn't limit the use of the word real to things which are real in only one narrow sense.